guys, it's Elisa from Elisa Beth Photography and Inside the Box Photography. Okay, so I'm here today to show you a really cool different way, different grid, white grid. And this one was, um, this is not something that I created. This is something that Lisa created in our group and it's for sale in the store. Um, she makes her grids uh, a little differently. This was a, this was a grid that she had posted in the group and people wanted to purchase it. And it's not a size that I had in the store. So I asked her um, if she wanted to become a featured artist and sell it. And when she sent me the file, I said, oh, these all have clipping masks. I generally, if, if you've already purchased some of my white grids, I do not have uh, clipping masks. They're just a grid. And then you lay the photograph underneath the grid on a lower layer and then um, crop it and uh, mask it and do all the other fun stuff that we do to it. But this was so interesting to me because I said to Lisa, I love the idea of clipping masks, but how do we get, how do we do it so that we can still um, uh, have different um, features hanging over the mask? Um, like cutting out the legs so they can dangle into the next box. And I was a little bit confused because I could not figure that out. I tried a bunch of times, couldn't figure it out, let it go, and just made the grids the way that I made them. But Lisa said, I can teach you how to do that and teach everybody how to do that. And she made these amazing instructions with a visual um, step by step. And I thought to myself, wow, isn't this amazing? This is what this group is all about. We can learn so much from each other. So I wanted to make this quick little video to show you her amazing grid, um, all the options, and then quickly show you how you can take a photo and, um, and add it to the box using a clipping mask and still use uh, masks to grid over it. I'm not going to do it perfectly. It's going to be quick and dirty just to give you the idea. Um, okay, so take a look here. So she's got group one, two, three, and four. Starting with group four, this is the configuration. I'm going to click off four, and now we have group uh, three. So you can see it's different configuration, two and one. What are really inside those groups? Let's open them up. It's clipping masks. So, um, and she gives you the spaces in which to uh, turn them on and turn them off. So each group has their own set of clipping masks. And of course, if you turn off layer three, layer three, layer two. Layer two is, is the one part of the white grid, this is the other part. Okay, so I'm just gonna work with this one. I'm gonna press file, place embedded, um, I'm going to look for a photo in my, I should have had something prepared, but of course I didn't. So, um, I'm just going to go to, uh, a photo shoot and find a nice photo that I can use. Um, let's see. Hopefully the pictures. Okay. So we'll take this picture. Um, here, take this one. I'm going to place this in. Now, that's just one way of getting a photo into a box. This would not normally take so much time, but I have all my photos synced into Dropbox and now it's got to download it. So, okay. So, um, normally you, if you watch my other videos, this isn't the way I usually bring boxes into pictures into a box. I usually go right from Lightroom, take it from Lightroom, do whatever I need to do to the photo then I send my photos from Lightroom to Photoshop and then from Photoshop I crop um, and then I bring my photos, the layers into the template. Um, but this is just for the sake of showing you how to use it. So I'm going to just press OK. It may not be perfect. My photo is here. I'm going to just start out by, there's many different ways that you could do this, right? So let's just put this into uh, the top box. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna press OK for now. I'm gonna open up group one. I'm gonna place this here. And it just popped right into the clipping mask. How cool is that? Um, I'm gonna press Command T to transform that picture. So now I can do things like, uh, I'm pressing the Command button. 
and I'm using the warping tool to just kind of bring it out and up. So I'm sort of warping the edges because my box was definitely not straight. And that's what that beautiful warping tool is for. So again, if you're not sure what I'm doing, I'm just pressing Command T or in the transformation tool, and that brings out the warping. Okay, the warping tool. Now I'm warping the box slightly. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do this perfectly right now because this is just for uh, demonstration purposes. And I'm placing the document. So now, I'm reading Lisa's instructions. I'm going to take, this is my picture layer. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to release the clipping mask. And now I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'm going to select the subject. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if this works. This may not. This may or may not work. This was, this was very much in front of this video. So, but this is real, right? This is what we do. We trial, we have trial and error. It could work, it could not work. Okay, so I see that um, the selection didn't really take the this whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to add to my selection so that I can get the whole frame in. And then, okay. All right, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to uh, press, I'm gonna, and I put, all I did is put a mask over that selection. Put a mask over it, and voila, look at that. Now he has, he is now hanging over the side, um, over the side, over the bottom. So it's not perfect. I would probably have to go back into my mask now, um, go my brush tool. Oops. I play around with my mask until I got it correct. Oops. But really, this is a. Oops. No, go back. So, this you really have a good idea of what it was that I just did. Like I said, I'm, I'm really. Now I'm just messing it all up. I'm just being. Oops. So all I'm doing is clicking back and forth between my selection, between my brush, between my uh, pressing the letter X to give me a white, a white uh, brush, and then back to a black brush because I want to. Sometimes I want to erase a little bit, and I want to reveal, and I want to conceal. So um, this is pretty good. I mean, it's not fabulous. I would have to still tweak this if this was the real deal. But uh, that's how you do it, my friends. That's how we can create a box using clipping masks. I think that is so cool. Um, thank you so much, Lisa, for making this template for us. And more importantly, thank you, Lisa, for teaching me something new, maybe teaching other people something new from our group. There might be lots of people in the group going, yep, I know how to do that. And that's fantastic. I did not know how to do this until yesterday. And Lisa just taught me, and hopefully she taught a lot of people. And I really wanted to just make a video to show you because I think this was kind of exciting. So um, that's really it. And it looks like my Dropbox is now syncing with everything in Dropbox, it looks like, up there. Um, that's really it. Oh, and if you're wondering also, this little boy is holding a photo frame that says, you're my lobster. But what I do with this is, obviously, I do not... <laughs> I do not um, use this picture as my um, picture. What I what I did was I had him holding the screen, and then I took one of the box pictures, and then I embedded the box picture into here, so that um, it looks like he's holding another box picture of the kids. It's, it's cute. Um, it's in, I think it's in the uh, photo I posted today, ironically. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys all have a great day, great night, great morning, whatever time of the day it is, whatever time of the year it is, whatever whatever country you live in when you watch this. Uh, thank you. If you are part of our group, thank you so much for being part of our group. It's an amazing, amazing teaching and learning experience um, for everybody, including myself. And uh, if you're not part of our group, then check out the links below because we have an amazing group called Inside the Photo Box on Facebook, where you can learn to do this and many more tricks, um, get a free template, 
in the store and make some new friends because that's really what happens. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye.